Wait a minute, y'all don't have this? What's up guys, we're back with another reaction video. So I'm checking out 11 common things that do not exist. They do not exist outside of the United States of America. I'm an American, I don't know what the heck y'all are doing out there. So why don't we just jump into it and see what it's all about, all right? Let's do it. Hip cookies, dental floss, traffic lights, all great American inventions. These things originated in America, the but are now all Get over the world. I didn't know that. But if you think that everything American is in every other country, then you'd be wrong. There are some things that you just don't see outside of the USA. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell I'm so bell freaking too. curious. Coming what the up first, we have medical and lawyer ads. If you're not from the USA but have gone to visit, I'm sure you switched on the TV and heard this phrase. Ask your doctor if this product is right for you. And then, most likely, a big list of scary warnings and side effects. This is something that only happens in America and it's advertising for medical products. Outside the USA, it's weird to see commercials for medical related things. Most people would just go to their doctor and get what their doctor suggests. But in the USA, it's common to see medical things advertised as if they were any other product. But medical ads aren't the only odd advertising you'll see in the USA. Another thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. I'm not talking about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60% of the world's lawyers reside in the USA? And the USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. This means that the most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Okay. Next up I can, is- I can see the doctor one because like you can get sick and you can freaking die by taking the wrong medication. But the lawyers? Why are you not advertising lawyers? I don't want to just take the first lawyer that someone recommends. No, I want to freaking pick and choose because I don't want to like end up in jail or something. But I need to have the best attorneys out there. Cheese. When you think of cheese, you probably think France. Luxurious French cheese is a staple of fine dining around the world. But the USA has a different kind of dairy-based delicacy. That is spray cheese. Yeah, cheese is eaten processed. a lot in the USA. Probably illegal. In fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also loves convenience, and that's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. Now, spray cheese is actually only 51% cheese. I was gonna say By it's law, not cheese. to call a product what it is, it must be at least half that product. So that's why it's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, protein, and ingredients. You know how stupid, I I'm an American so I can say this, you know how stupid so many Americans are? That you would have something that's called cheese, but only 51% cheese? You're eating like 49% freaking chemicals. You have no idea what's there. Why would you put that in your body? That's your freaking temple. Spray cheese has been big in the USA since the 1960s. And it's even sold in various flavors. For example, cheddar, bacon, and even American flavor. Huh, I wonder what that is. That's just disgusting. Next up is garbage disposals. I'm sure you've seen in movies and TV shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. In other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. But why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. This is because it's not very environmentally friendly. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then at some point must be filtered out. So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. Okay. Next up is college sports. Every country loves sports. Whether it's cricket in India, football in Spain, or baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college sports. Every country loves professional sport leagues, and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports as much as regular professional sports. No other country gets behind colleges as much as the USA does. Is that true? If you ask people in other countries if they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. In other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. And they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. 
Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football stadiums. Out of the top 15 biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college football stadiums. The largest of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. You know what I thought was actually pretty cool? Next that when you go to Ireland, like I'm Irish, I've been there many times, they don't pay the professional athletes at all. They don't get paid a dime unless they have like brand deals because like Gaelic football is the biggest sport there. That's like American football in America. And they don't get paid anything. They work other jobs. They're like teachers, gardeners, they do all this. And I'm thinking, could you imagine if that happened in America? People in America are getting like $80 million deals, like crazy money. Whereas these people have to work everyday jobs and they have just like everyone in Ireland tunes in for that. So it's not like the money's not there. The money's there, they're just not paying the athletes. Could you imagine if that happened in America? Next up is white teeth. Have you ever wondered why all Americans seem to have great white teeth? It seems for some reason people in the USA are obsessed with getting the perfect teeth. And by perfect, I mean white and straight. Americans actually spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, the British are often mocked for their bad teeth. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. Trust me, not all Brits look like Austin Powers. <laughs> One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under 18s can get braces for free. However, in America, they're very expensive and there's a good reason for that. According to a study by New York Mag in the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone down for a second date if they have bad teeth. And 60% of Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Isn't that crazy? Next up- Like, we like to think that we judge people by, like, their character and their personality, but every single per human being, we're all vain. We all have this degree of, like, oh, no, that's kind of gross. Like, it's underlying. Like, we cannot get rid of it. So I feel like the only thing we can do as human beings is say, okay, people are going to judge me, so I might as well become the best version of me I could possibly be. Like, that's all you could do. Because if you just ask people, oh, don't judge me for this, you're not gonna get far in life. People are gonna be like, yeah, F you. <laughs> is Black Friday. If you're not from the USA, you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year. Black Friday is the name given to the day after Thanksgiving, which is another American holiday. The term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example the UK, but videos of Black Friday in other countries have gone viral for different reasons. That's because no one really cares about Black Friday in other countries, and shops often only get one or two extra visitors than on a normal day. Billions of dollars are spent in the USA every time Black Friday rolls around. But it seems the rest of the world just isn't into it. I feel like that's dying though, and Cyber Monday Next up is, is up. Solo Cups. Yeah, that's brought up. If you're American, this may come as a surprise. But red Solo Cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a red Solo Cup to their own countries when going to America. That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans what? don't realize this. In other countries, Are people simply me? drink like from beer cup. bottles or glasses, but in the USA, they use red plastic solo cups. Next what? up is free refills. When I was dining in the USA once, a waiter came up to me and said, would you like me to refill your drink? I said no because the drink was kind of expensive, and they looked at me like I was crazy. That's because it is typical in any American restaurant to have a free refill. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for on one drink, restaurant. that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled even if they don't ask. Only some but personally, I love it. I'm never going to turn down a free drink. And finally on the list, we have flags. Every country has their flag. But no one shows off their flag more than the USA. If you American, drive baby. around the USA, it's common to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, many buildings, schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This is something you don't see in any other country. 
According to research, over 150 million American flags are sold every year. And it's not exactly known why people in the USA love to show their flag off so much. Worldwide, the USA flag is the second most famous flag after the Union Jack. But no other country waves their flag as much as they do in the USA. Vote in the poll in the top right corner the most interesting common thing that doesn't exist do outside the USA. I think it's spray I'd cheese, because I'd really like to try that someday. If you guys want some- I'd say the Red Soul Cup was most interesting to me because it's such a basic thing, like plastic cups. Like, what do you do at parties? Like, what would you do if you had a large gathering of people? Everyone uses glass cups? That would take forever to clean up. Just use a plastic cup. It's so much easier. Throw it out in the garbage. It's over. But yeah, there was definitely some weird stuff on here. I'm like- how do you guys not do this? I would think this is like basic. Who am I to judge? Cause I've never lived a day in your shoes. But yeah, this was definitely interesting. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I should react to next. I'd be happy to do it. And take it easy, y'all. Till next time.